Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is iMovie and we're doing kind of like a zoom jump cut. Today I was watching a video. It was the TLD today, uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 and, and the Edge or whatever it's called video. And I noticed that um, Jonathan over at TLD likes to do these little quick zoom cuts when, he's, when there's a long steady video. He likes to do just a little teeny zoom cut, on, but the footage doesn't really change. So I thought we'd try to reproduce that here. So first thing I'm gonna do is of course open iMovie and then we're gonna put a clip into the old timeline. And I'm gonna silence the audio real quick. Okay, so I made this clip just generically. And let's see right here so let me go ahead and delete this first part when i was focusing so one two three right there i'm gonna do control b or right click and split okay i'm gonna play a little bit more i'm gonna do a con not control b command b sorry command b or right click split um and then let's play a little bit more a little bit more. Okay, that one actually zoomed in, so I got to go back a little bit. Right here. That's probably good. Command B. Okay, so we got three. One, two, three clips, and then the last big section of it. So what I'm going to do is the first one, I'm going to let it play. And once it gets to the second one, what I'm going to do is go to the cropping tool here. And I'm going to do crop to fill. But really, I just need a tad bit smaller, and then I'm going to center it. Actually, maybe a little bit smaller than that. Yeah. There we go. And now we got the crosshair, so it's perfectly centered. Then we'll hit the check mark to accept those changes. So what it does is it's a constantly playing video, and then it does that quick jump. They do a quick jump back, yeah? So let's go ahead and do it again here. Hit the cropping tool. Crop the fill. Maybe we want a little bit bigger jump cut, you know. Or maybe we even want, you know, jumping to, oh, it's a little bit too small. To really attract the person's eyes to a certain area. Okay, I guess that's good enough right there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and play from the first one on. Let's see how this looks. So normal, normal, normal jump, a little teeny jump. And then you got the other jump, and then it goes back. But this is just a simple instruction on how to do it. But the subtleties, I think, if you have a really long clip where you're talking or somebody else is talking or you're showing something, just to so people's eyes don't get bored and you know lose interest, um, you do just little teeny cuts here, back, forth, up, down, to kind of it like resets their brain. And if you notice when you watch movies or TV shows. Movies and TV shows and videos pro done professionally, they change scene or look or anything. Like in less than five seconds, they're jumping from one camera angle to the next camera angle to. So we're kind of trying to mimic that kind of um, direction, I guess. Or yeah, I guess direction would be the best way to do it to, to maintain that person's attention. If you don't have anything else to show them, you're just readjusting their eyes. It kind of subconsciously kind of flashes them. Whoa, something changed here. But uh, so that's basically how you do it. It's, it's really simple. Just put a break where you want to do it. Do a right click and then split the clip and then crop it to crop the fill just a little bit, you know, just to give that little bit of, of uh, adjustment. Whoa, let's do that again. Crop the fill a little bit and then crosshairs will get you once you're right in the center so pretty simple but I think it's pretty effective hold on a minute I'm gonna show you a little clip of his video to kind of show you what I mean okay everyone thanks for watching and don't forget thumbs up subscribe comment and as always peace with a whole bunch of aloha thrown over your way thanks for watching